Hi, I am here at a resort in Phuket in Thailand and uh, they've done a similar thing to Disney in Florida. Let's learn more what that can mean to our businesses, small businesses in the UK. Hi, my name is Gordon De Silva and I'm here in uh, a resort in Phuket which is out of the way and quite luxurious. Now, what's really different about this resort compared to a whole load of really nice hotels around Phuket and the rest of Thailand is that they've managed to corner the environment uh, and it has implications to businesses like you and me. Now, just because they've invested multiple millions and the, the property is now worth probably multiple billions does not mean this is not relevant as a lesson, as a business story that you and I could both learn from. What's different here is because they have bought such a large amount of land and this was basically an old tin mine I believe, the, the ground was poisoned by chemicals to extract the tin, uh, it was basically given up as lost. And what this company did, they saw the potential, they must have hired some geologists, they must have hired some true experts to understand what they could do with the property because there's no point buying you know, a couple of hundred uh, acres um, you know, if there's two miles of beach on this property. There's no point hire, you know, uh, buying this sort of land if you don't have a plan, right? And too often, uh, the first lesson I think in business is too often we start out without a plan. We start off with the intention and that there's nothing wrong with the intention to, to do really well in business, but there's no real deep plan that's then, then followed through. The plan is usually written, and then once the money is in and the business is started, it's forgotten in the day-to-day -day mundanity, uh, stress, uh, routines, eat away at our, our daily hours, and before you know it, years go by and we don't achieve our goals. So the first thing is they probably set up with a plan. So they probably hired a geologist, I'm guessing some of this bits, putting two and two together because you know, somebody who runs hotels may not really fully understand what you can do with land in terms of you know, making it green. And I'll show you some, I'll cut some videos in here of uh, the area we're in, golf courses and beautiful uh, lakes and you know, whole, you know just, it is a really beautiful place. The second thing they've done is because they've controlled the environment, they've controlled the prices. So what they've done is basically within a two mile radius, there's virtually no local people. And because there's no local people, there's no local stalls and markets and shops. So everything around here is more expensive. Okay, so that's one of the things that they've done. So, for example, in their restaurants, they charge four to six times as much, 10 times as much as a local restaurant would and certainly 20 or 30 times as much as a local store would. So, but they can do that because um, the tourists, they don't want to, you know, why would we want to go you know, two, three miles when you're on holiday for something to eat? You just go to the restaurant and you get you something to eat, right? So that's, so that's the next lesson is, you know, they've, I understood that by controlling the quality, and you know, this is certainly, you know, certainly a European quality resort in Thailand, which is unusual in itself. You, you may agree with me if you've been to places uh, in the sort of developing world. Uh, that's the second thing that we, we've learned is they've controlled their product, they've understood their market. Uh, you know, you could argue that everyone who goes to Thailand goes for a cheap holiday and wants cheap this and wants cheap that. They've understood differently. They've created a market for people who want to pay a, a reasonable amount for a holiday and we're, we're willing to pay, because it's a nice resort, to stay on the resort and pay the price for being on that resort, which includes meals and drinks and stuff at a much higher premium price. So pricing here, you know, critical lesson for small businesses. We all believe that because our competition around us is charging a different amount, we should charge a different amount. The third thing I think I'd like to bring out in this story is that uh, I, I've just had a walk to the beach today and on the beach there are some local Thai people in stalls. Now, the local uh, stalls, I know because I quite like eating uh, street food in Thailand. It is, it is one of the things I come, come here every few years for is, is the, uh, the street food because it is, de <laughs> it is delicious to, to my palate, right? Uh, and uh, normally um, the, the street food costs, you know, sort of two pounds for a, for a, for a nice snack. Uh, whereas on the beach uh, here, because they've understood their market, it's five pounds. Now, it's only five pounds here. 
because they know that the, the alternative for getting a snack in the hotel is 15 pounds. So if they offer it for five pounds, there's, there's two thirds cheaper, why wouldn't they? And as a result, you've got a thriving, small local community. Now, because they've controlled the environment so heavily, there isn't very many of these. They must have got a license for a small part uh, for access and a small part for local traders as part of their planning permission from the government and stuff like that. But uh, nevertheless, I think there's those, those stories that you can take away from this. And please don't uh, write them off as, well, it's all right for them. You know, they're millionaires. It's all right for them. They've got, you know, two miles. They can go. All of these lessons can be brought into every small business. You know, we have brought it into our business in, in London where the competition is rife. Yet we are succeeding beyond uh, our competition, not because we're cheaper, it's because we offer much, much more and uh, a better quality service, a better experience, uh, better information that businesses use to make more money. So they're willing to pay for that. Uh, and you know, that is the same in your business. I guarantee, chances are, if you're watching this video, you're off the person, your type of person, business person who is offering better than average services. So you deserve to get a better than average price, not the average market price. All right, let me leave you with those thoughts. If you'd like some, uh, some help, some, uh, some more ideas, some more techniques and more tools on getting your business moving, increasing sales, increasing margins, profits, cash flow, value of your business, time, in your, time out of your business, uh, better team, all of those things, then why not book on our next online workshop? Uh, it's our Profit Multiplier Workshop. It's run periodically. It's uh, completely free to attend. It's between 50 and 90 minutes, depending on how many questions and answers there are at the end, of the, you know, at the end and during the presentation. And uh, because I want you to get the most out of the, out of the thing. And during this workshop, it's online, so you don't need to leave your desk. There's no travel time. There's no parking. There's no travel costs. You just you know, park all your electronics, get online, uh, listen to the webinar, watch the slides on screen, interact with me and learn a whole lot of techniques, tips and tools that you can take away and immediately use in your business to increase your profits by you know, a thousand pounds a week, a thousand pounds a month, a 5% margin, a 10% margin, uh, increase your cash flow. There'll be something in there for everyone. So let me leave you uh, with that thought. Uh, click on the link either below or go to our website. Our workshops, our next workshops are always on the homepage. Just look for the next, our next workshop button and I'll see you on there. Until we speak all the very best in business, you, know, you deserve it You're, as an entrepreneur, you work hard, you take risks, you deserve to get paid above average for doing that. Take care, goodbye.